will have you add a scale bar to pretty much every map. And you do that again through this insert tab on the scale bar option. Now again, if I just click on it once, a scale bar appears of some um, format or type. But if I don't want that, again, I can right click and delete and select the scale bar through this carrot, that little triangle in the lower right corner, and get a specific scale bar type. So I get a double, alt, double, double alternating scale bar, hard to say, especially maybe if you've been drinking. Anyway, I'll zoom into it so you can see the selected page now, or selected item. Now one thing is that if I grab the edge and resize it, notice that it goes from 100 miles to 40 miles. So it's gonna automatically change the units and the graduations based on what I have uh, selected for a length. And so in this case, I want to zoom out a little bit because I want a longer scale bar so that I can see it. Uh, notice if I pull it the top, it doesn't change anything, but maybe give me more space. So it's not going to resize the fonts. I change those sorts of things by going up to the scale bar format and design. Now, if I click off the scale bar, you see that these format and design options disappear. But if I click back on the scale bar, I get these format and design options. And in the design option, I can change the number of subdivisions I have here. So instead of, I think it was four, I can go to two and it'll change the number. And then I can also change the number of divisions. So I can go down here. And so you'll see it changes these number of divisions and subdivisions on both sides. Again, clicking on it. I could also, rather than miles, use other units like kilometers. If I were to switch to something like inches, it would be kind of crazy. I'm going to go back to miles. And where I display the labels here, now here I'm going to go below center instead of below left, so it appears here instead of lengthening my scale bar. I can also, by looking at the side, change the text symbol so I can change the options here for the text symbol. I can change the font if I want it to be bigger and more visible, make it something like 21 and apply it. And then I have a bigger, more visible uh, text symbol here. Now that's a little bit too big because you see the miles runs into the top there. So I could make that smaller or put it off to the side um, to get something that, that looks well. So you have to um, <clears throat> jump around uh, and change the values to give you the exact form you want, but you can get a reasonably visible, viewable scale bar working with these options. So for each of your maps, we'll want you to do that to make a scale bar that you can read and is appropriate in the size and shape of the map you have.